Kevin Brunt has revisited the affected areas. He joins us with the latest on the mop-up operations and relief efforts. Kevin, I wonder how you were able to get around because we heard from government a short while ago that people have not been able to access roads because of the floods. Uh, but just give us an update on what residents say about mop-up operations. A very good afternoon to you, Maseho. We've managed to make our way now to a different area still within the Solaris Pass um, community here in the Helderberg district. It's an area called the Rasta Camp, and it's a different community also heavily impacted by the flooding. As you can see behind me, there are streams of water um, running past people's homes. As we made our way into this community here, you could still see uh, basically every housing unit um, in there, residents still cleaning, um, carrying out water, trying to mop up and clear up um, the living space following the heavy downpours that we've experienced here. But one of the residents will join me now to talk a bit more about his experience with the flooding. Tell me, how has the heavy rain affected you and your family here, especially when the rain started coming and, and the water eventually flowed um, from further up the mountain, I believe? The, the, the rain started um, since um, Sunday. The, the Sunday rain was, was raining the whole day, you see, sir. And the rain affected, started affecting us um, from the 4 a.m. I started waking up. I was on my way to work, but I couldn't go to work. I to arrange with my management. I hope this is going to be enough evidence for them to see it. But all over these areas, most houses affected. Some of them are sleeping there at the community hall, you see. And yeah, just yeah, all the area is just damaged. Even all our staffs outside are trying to clean, try to manage to clean our things, you see. But I don't know what is damaged because I didn't switch my spritz yet, my electrical stuff yet. You see, I'm scared to go and get shocked. You see, maybe I can get injured and something like that. But for now, it's been two days now. I'm not working yet. I don't know if I'm going to come to work tomorrow if the, everything is done. You see, but all I can say, yeah, but thanks for coming to see us. Because none of our community leaders didn't come, come here to see us. Most of the cases, they don't come when situations like that. They don't come. Only when they come, like next year is the election time. They will say one of us, food, 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 food. But in stuff like that, we will never see them. But you guys managed to come here, to come here. All they want us, the one things are going to benefit them. But when I, 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 we as the community members are affected by such stuff, they don't come come to us how, how we are affected, how are we doing good, how is the children doing, you see. A lot of them that have no even shoes, they lost the many stuff of them. You see. Yeah. Tell me, during winter time, is it normally this excessive, the flooding in this community, um, or is this, uh, you know, the first time in years that you've seen this level of flood within this area? Yeah, it's the first time. It's the first time I stayed here. Just maybe the rest of my life, it's been seven years I'm staying here. Yeah, it's the first time it happened. But I don't think it just was the rain, only the rain, but it's the dam coming from the mountains. This water coming from the mountains, that's why it's affected like this, because other than the past years, no, we didn't experience such stuff. All the best, and thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Maseko, yeah, there you've heard from one of the residents here in a different area of the Salaris Pass community, Rasta Kamp, explaining exactly how he and his family has been affected. Their housing unit is right here behind me, and inside, um, his sister and, and other family members are busy clearing out the area, still flooded with water, as you can see there from the doorway side, a lot of muddy water um, and water still of, you know, flowing past people's homes here further down in the main road where we were earlier on. Residents there explained that they have a matric ball. One of the, the people in that house is a grade 12 learner and she has a matric ball on tomorrow, but the house is completely flooded. They're trying to organize um, her matric ball, a very special day in any person's life for her, but at the same time, they're now having to deal with the aftermath of the heavy downpours and the flooding here within this community, Maseho. All right, Kevin Brunt uh, talking to us live uh, about the scale of the damage caused by floodwaters in the Western Cape.